right there. Oh my god. Alright, in this video, we're taking a look at the VEL46, aka the trusty handy dandy MP7. Now, I found a class setup that has no recoil, yet incredibly effective at closer ranges. And I know you guys can tear it up and get a nuke. With all being said, like on this vid, 500 likes. If you guys are enjoying the content of the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Let's jump right into it. Two down, three down. Relax, teammate. Oh, he has an RPG. Oh my god. Pin that down right there. Oh, they're all over here. Get up here. Thank God for good hip fire. Right, you can have fun with that teammate. They literally just threw down whatever he threw down over there. I'm not challenging that. Back it up. Get that right there. Okay, they're in front and behind. I'm out of there. And... That can go right there. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Dude, that's a Got the sniper. The amount of hit markers I just fucking experienced right there. Oh my god. Why couldn't that happen when I was on a goddamn nuke streak? Team. Homie's in a corner. Hostile airstrike near your location. Friendly UAV on station. Ah, damn it. UAV is on station. Recon online. Hostile cluster mine active. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. <sighs> God damn. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's chalked. Yeah, it's chalked. Beats all jet. It's chalked un unless an absolute miracle happens. Morel just got fucking flashbanged. See, this is where shit about to fall apart because
Yeah. All right, y'all. So we can do here with the Vel 46, aka the MP7. Hopefully, my teammates are actually here because sometimes they're here, but there really isn't anybody upstairs, if you know what I mean. What's up, brother? Got three down. Let's get up here. They should be coming from this way. Yup. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get back up here. Oh. Got him. Got him. There's somebody in the water, too. I don't really like the area I'm in right now. I, I really don't. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Dude, there, there's legitimately somebody like There we go Bet Alright, I guess we could Alright, we got the advance What to say? I guess we could push up because These guys are hitting like the water flanks and shit. What the fuck are these guys doing? They're hitting like the water flanks and shit. Like these guys are, these guys are playing hella weird, man. I'm telling you right now. Every day on MW2 is a different experience. I'm with you. I'm gonna let this shit drop first. All right, I actually don't have ammo to be fucking around, really. Ah, oh, damn. I don't have ammo to be fucking around. There we go, baby. Yeah, I have to pull that combat knight off to rush. Go, baby. I'm getting that combat shotgun as a secondary. I'm putting that there. They gotta be spawning behind. One. Oh god. They gotta be back here, bro. Keep it moving. Enemies inside the perimeter. I'm dead. Fucking A, man. Back. We have the lead. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Let's push up. Personnel at the hard point. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Enemies inside the perimeter. Location updated. Capture the hard point. I knew it. Enemy lost the lead. Enemy personnel at the hard point. Keep it pushing up. Dude, I hate when the lobbies get like this, man. Look, look holy shit. It's a fucking AFK. Hit the reload. Throwing a shot for him! Secure the target this one's area. Dead. Another oh, fucking oh, AFK, oh, dude. Oh, what oh, the hell? Push them back. Landing mic! 
All right, we got it. Oh my god, one of those lobbies where you have to extract. This is why we need 10v10 because like I hate I hate getting these lobbies. I have to feel like I have to extract people out of corners. That's literally what the hell this shit feels like. Extracting people out of corners. that there enemy personnel at the hard point target area updated move to the hard point hard point compromised the area. this combat shock and i got pretty solid hell teammate relax enemies inside the perimeter Rotate this way. Stun grenade out! Hard point compromise. Secure the area. Thought I heard somebody. That's why having a headset. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's, that's why having a headset is so crucial. I'm right on ammo. Dude, how am I, how am I getting hit markers this far with this shit? Why is this? Why? Why am I getting hit markers? Dude, this this is a joke. Bro, this thing is actually. Dude, I might have to go ahead and run around with this for a little bit. Bruh, why am I getting? I said a flank a little bit. Dude. First hit marker, I got it like a decent range. Like, Over here. Enemy UAV active. Getting a bunch of hit markers now. We've secured the lead. Changing max. Rotate over here. Dude, it, they have six people, but like, they're not here, if that makes sense. Setting on! I'm reloading! We've got them on the run. Keep it up. But I gotta be in like a 50 right now. Something. I have to be like on a 50 gun streak. Something like that. Something ridiculous. Relax, teammate. Fuck it. Oh, well. 
I might not get the nuke in. Oh my god, just in time. Well, that was a hell of a game. Long, but shit. Hell yeah. All right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and fastest killing Vel 46 class. This is a good setup if you guys are trying to run and gun and play aggressive, but still be accurate. For the first attachment, we are going to rock the soldier grip to increase that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed here. Now, normally I'd recommend running the combat grip on this weapon, but for this specific class setup, we are going to increase that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed so we can run and gun, but again, we're still gonna be accurate. Now for the tuning, we are gonna increase the spread of fire speed some more at negative 0.39, and we're gonna adjust that recoil steadiness here instead of the aim down sight speed at plus 0.77. Now in order to go ahead and increase just the close range handling, we are gonna rock the collapse stock, removing the stock off this weapon, giving us increased aim down sight speed, sprint of fire speed, movement speed, and much needed hip recoil and control, make sure we can go ahead and spray people off the hip, take them out at close range, and overall win some clutch gunfights, which you guys saw in the gameplay. Now, unfortunately, we cannot tune this. We're skipping over the optic because the iron sights are crystal clear, perfect for the Vel, so there's no need to go ahead and waste an attachment slot. Now, we are going to rock a laser, which is going to be fundamental on this build, the VLK LZR 7 milliwatt, which is going to increase aim down sight speed, aiming stability, as well as for the fire speed, Again, helping up that close range engagement and also helping out with the recoil smoothness at longer ranges. So definitely a great attachment here, man. We're going to have more stability, smoother recoil, but at the same time, we're still going to be fast at those close to medium ranges. Now we are not, I repeat, not running a barrel on this weapon for this specific class setup because it's going to add unnecessary weight and that's exactly what we do not want to have happen. Now to compensate for that, we are going to rock the X10 Razor Comp to increase that horizontal as well as vertical recoil control. For the tuning, we are gonna bump up that gun kick control at plus 0.18, and we're also gonna adjust that recoil stabilization at plus 0.72, so we can take advantage of the medium as well as long range capabilities. And then we are finally gonna go ahead and wrap this entire class setup off with the FTAC 56, giving us smoother aiming stability as well as hip fire accuracy and obviously going ahead and adjusting the recoil control of this weapon, making it a little bit more stable at longer ranges. Now for the tuning, we are gonna bump up the aim walking speed at negative 0.32, and we're also gonna adjust the recoil stabilization some more at plus 0.59. Once you guys go ahead and put all these attachments on and tune this weapon properly, you're gonna be happy because it has a relatively quick ADS, but at the same time, the recoil control is gonna be relatively easy to use at those longer ranges here. The combat knife, stun grenade, proximity mine, and my custom perk package, double time scavenger, resupply, as well as quick fix. You guys can run fast hands if you guys want to. And then obviously for our field upgrades we have on pro with munitions box and dead silence. Give this a go, it is amazing. Really fun to use, rocking weapon loud and proud. You guys should be able to dominate at any and all ranges. And if you guys do, let me know in the comment section in this video. And as always, drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. Been a boy ears, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.